In the first of our series on stolen images, we looked at a photo of mine called A Sense of Scale, which was a cruise ship in front of an iceberg. Um, that particular shot was posted to 500 pixels and went viral within a few hours. If you did not see that video, you can check it out just here. My name's Jason Rowe, I'm a freelance travel stock photographer and videographer, and in this short series I'm going to take you through some of my most stolen images, where they were posted, why and how they were stolen, and what you and I can do about image theft. In this video we're going to look at a more recent image that I took and how that got stolen and used globally. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video interesting or educational. So the image in question is this one, and it was taken on Langeron Beach in Odessa from a DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone. It shows the waterfront, Shevchenko Park and the city of Odessa in the background, and is topped off by having a dramatic sky and a setting sun. Overall it's a pretty good picture to encapsulate the city of Odessa, and as such was used by a British newspaper, The Independent. This of course was licensed, and I was paid for that. Now, at first glance, you can see that this image has a large headline plastered all over it, and of course there's the credit on the bottom left. That credit, of course, should make it clear that the image is copy protected, but doesn't. The problem is that despite the headline, if you actually click on the image, you see a near full screen version of it. Its resolution is not high, but it's good enough to use as a smaller image on a website. And that's pretty much how it's being used. This, and a number of other agencies taken on the same day, are being extensively stolen and used predominantly on travel agency websites. A lot of them seem to be Eastern European based, and the sites are often very similar to each other, but under different names. Their domain registration is often hidden, and emails to them are never answered. Basically, these sites, a lot of these sites are actually scam sites that just come and go, and that makes it virtually impossible to enforce copyright claims on them. That said, uh, this particular image is also being used by legitimate travel agencies, in particular in Europe and the Middle East. I've actually had one successful claim against an Italian travel agency for misuse of this image, and currently I have several more ongoing with the copyright enforcement agency called uh, CopyTrack. The other way that this particular image has been stolen is through event promotion for Odessa. A company promoting a major event in Odessa bought a legitimate license for this for their press release. However, other sites have picked up on the press release and published the information on their own sites using my image. Now, had they embedded that image from the original license holder's site, that would be fine. However, what a lot of them doing are just downloading that image and re-uploading it to their own sites, and that makes it illegal. I'll give you one last little anecdote about this particular image. I'm sure many of you have heard uh, multiple different excuses for image theft. In the case of this particular drone shop, one travel agency claimed they had been given the image by an official Ukrainian tourist agency. Apart from the fact that a tourist agency would know better than to distribute stock images that it had licensed, a quick check revealed that none of the Ukrainian agencies had licensed this image at all. Interestingly, the uh, copyright infringer was unable to provide any details on who gave them the image. That particular image, copyright infringement, is still being prosecuted by CopyTrack. Let's have a quick look at some of those that stole it. Um, as I mentioned at the top, it was the independent newspaper in the UK that uh, did a travel article about Odessa, and they used this particular image. What's happened a lot in this particular case is um, not so much that the image was directly stolen for travel agencies, but it is also stolen by bloggers and travel websites that um, have plagiarised or at least uh, slightly varied the wording of this particular independent article and actually downloaded the images themselves to put on their own websites, which of course it makes them illegal. Again, I'm trying to track a lot of these down through CopyTrack, but the sheer numbers are, are phenomenal and companies like CopyTrack tend not to go after individual blog sites. They are more interested in sites that are using the image on a commercial basis, like advertising some sort of travel to Odessa. So a lot of the blog sites, there's not very much you can do other than fire off an email to them. 
Anyway, look out for the next video that's coming soon. And in the meantime, if you've been affected by copyright abuse, had your images stolen, let us know in the comments below um, what's happened with your images, whether you've managed to get any money back from them. Um, if you've used any of these copy infringement agencies, uh, let me know your experiences of them. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscription. If you've got photographer friends who've been affected by copyright abuse, uh, maybe share that, uh, share this video with them. Uh, hopefully they might be able to find some useful information from it as well. And look out for our next video coming soon, and I will see you again soon. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and even better, a subscription. If you want to stay up to date when we publish new videos, ring the notifications bell. See you all again soon.